2022 Qatar World Cup is fast approaching, with the tournament set to kick off in just a few months' time. The decision to make Qatar the host country has come under much scrutiny since it was announced in 2010, given the various human rights issues associated with the Gulf state. World Cups were awarded by FIFA in unacceptable ways with unacceptable consequences. One major concern is that LGBTQ plus fans will not be able to attend, given that same-sex relationships are illegal and potentially punishable by death. Joe White of Three Lions Pride, the England LGBTQ plus fan group, met with me to discuss the depth and complexity of the issues involved. In Qatar it is illegal to be LGBT plus and the highest penalty for it is death. So that is obviously a, a big concern for people and also people don't want to put money into a state that criminalises our existence. The lack of communication from FIFA, the FA and the Qatari Supreme Committee, which has overseen the organisation of the World Cup, has led to confusion, with Joe finding it vague and misleading. So the first proper contact we've really had with FIFA and the Supreme Committee was in December which less than a year to go um, to the tournament and there just hasn't either been enough conversation and when it has it's been very much reverting back to the well it's a World Cup for everyone, there is no detail. All of these bodies have put out the same message with Qatar saying everyone will be welcome in 2022. We want fans from across the region and around the world to enjoy this incredible festival of football and sample the amazing atmosphere. Similarly, the FA released a statement saying we received the unequivocal answer that all fans, including those from LGBTQ plus communities, will be welcome at Qatar 2022. Despite this, a senior member of the Supreme Committee was quoted saying that he could not guarantee the safety of fans who carried pride flags as people may attack them outside stadiums. There will be LGBT people going to Qatar. That isn't going to change. And so we need to be having these conversations to make sure it is safe. Three Lions Pride visited Russia, a country where same-sex relationships are not illegal, but homophobia is present. Joe outlined the differences between the lead-up to the 2018 World Cup held there and the coming tournament in Qatar. We had a lot more direct engagement with FIFA. We were also talking to local LGBT groups in Russia, whereas in Qatar, because it is criminalised, we don't have that access. Joe said that they expect some members of the LGBTQ plus community would still attend despite the risk, stating they expected this would take a heavy toll on those having to hide their true identities. For me, it was a really, really difficult personal decision. I had tickets for England all the way through up to the final if we made it. Am I comfortable, happy and kind of willing to go back in the closet for four or five weeks? It will be a time where you are constantly on edge. That, it, for me, is not what a World Cup should be about or is about. A World Cup is about bringing everyone together through their love of football, whoever they are, wherever they live, whatever their background. And we should be embracing our differences and our cultures and our identities and celebrating each other through football. And unfortunately, we can't do that in Qatar.